for us to find the critical points and linearization of the given system. We have x prime equals x plus y plus y squared and y prime equals x. To begin, this indicates that f of x comma y is equal to x plus y plus y squared and g of x comma y is equal to x. We determine their critical points by determining where both f of x comma y equals zero and g of x comma y equals zero. This indicates to determine the critical points, we need to solve the system x plus y plus y squared equals zero and x equals zero. This is a pretty simple system to solve. The second equation indicates x must be zero and if x is zero, the first equation becomes y plus y squared equals zero which is only zero when y is also zero. And therefore we only have one critical point at the origin, the point zero comma zero. And now to perform the linearization, we change the variables. We let u equal x minus x sub zero and v equal y minus y sub zero, where x sub zero comma y sub zero is a critical point, which in this case indicates that u equals x and v equals y. And now we determine the Jacobian matrix by determining the partial derivatives of f and the partial derivatives of g. So again, recall that f of x comma y is equal to x plus y plus y squared, and g of x comma y is equal to x. For the first row of the Jacobian, we determine the partials of f. First, we have the partial of f with respect to x, which is just one. Next, we have the partial of f with respect to y, which is one plus two y. In the second row, we have the partials of g. The partial of g with respect to x is one, the partial of g with respect to y is zero. And now we evaluate the Jacobian at the critical point zero comma zero, which gives us a two by two matrix with entries one, 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 zero. And now we can determine the linearization of the system when u equals x and v equals y. We have the derivative of the vector uv equals the Jacobian matrix one, 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 zero times the vector uv. This indicates with u equal x and v equal y, the linearization is u prime equals u plus v and v prime equals u. Before we go, let's take a look at the slope fields for the original system and the linearization. On the left, we have the vector field for the given system. In orange, we have the critical point, which is the origin zero comma zero. On the right, we have the linearization near x comma y equals zero comma zero, which is the same as u comma v equals zero comma zero. Recall, for the linearization on the right, we are using the variables u and v in the coordinate plane. And this is a pretty simple system. Analyzing the linearization, notice how it is a good approximation of the original slope field around the critical point zero comma zero. I hope you found this helpful.